my, so I've just potted up a lot of my carnivorous plants using carnivorous plant pot compost repotting mix, which is basically peat moss uh, compost and graded sand, and uh, that's what I've used. So with carnivorous plants, you want to use the right compost, and you only want to water with rainwater, otherwise you'll kill your plants. So you can see I've potted up this one, this one, this one, um, the others are not because they're still in their same pot. And then up here I potted up this picture plant, um, that's the only one I've potted up up here, but oh, these are my carnivorous plants, I've brought some inside. This is also my plant collection, so I've got a trailing plant there, I've got like a pinky trailing plant. I've got an African violet which I call Doris because it was from my late customer who's no longer with us. She's called Doris. Um, there's a money plant. In the window there's a load of um, orchids and again they came from customers who could no longer look after them. All the orchids were looking in a bit of a disheveled state before but um, since I've had them they've grown on really well and all of them have got new flower stems and new leaves. I've also got a couple of geraniums um, that flower all the time. There's some little ferns in the bottom of this rubber plant. Um, the rubber plant I've sort of trimmed back and tidied up and it's growing from the bottom. And like I said I've got ferns there as well. I've also got a trailing pothos and there's some more picture plants. This one's called monkey jars. And there's another one there that's like a miniature monkey jars and other picture plants. I've also got pothos or devil's ivy in all my tanks or in most of, most of my tanks and including the crab paludarium. And the pothos is fantastic if you grow it in fish tanks and things and it absorbs a lot of nitrates out of the water so it's very good for your fish tanks. And then over this side I've got my sort of dry deserty type plants. I've got a mother-in-law's tongue um, prickly pear and aloe vera and then there's like a dragon aloe vera so it's got a bit of red in it. A uh, Mexican hat plant and another plant that looks like a Mexican hat plant and then there's another one down there that's just a weird looking sort of roundish plant. That has a little flower as well and I did pot up this um, sundew plant as well. There are all the plants that I have in my house. Oh and I've got the dragon plant yucca as well. They're all growing well and I enjoy having them. Get these, so I've got a, another fleshy, leafy plant down underneath. There's like a fatsia under there, it's got quite a broad leaf. And then there's another type of geranium, but it's a scented leaf geranium. These are all my plants that I keep, which is